Ben, don't even. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay, I did it right the first time by myself. <laughs> I'm zooming. Okay. Just getting Joe set up. Okay, no problem. So now if you want to mute yourself, hit the mute button. See the mute button? It'll be down in the corner. So let's see. So here. Hi, everyone. Hello, good evening. And the person that is talking should either come up big or it'll have. I know it does. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. 
can Hello. see everybody and I can hear everybody too. Wow. Good. Good. I'm trying to see if we have a forum already. We can open the public hearing. I think there's six, so we should be good. Yeah. I'll, I'll open the public hearing on the Harrison uh, subdivision. What's the matter, Crystal? Ed, do you, you want to wait for Amy to get on before you open? Amy's not, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amy. Hello, Amy. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're, hey, all, set. we're all set to go. Crystal's saying something. I see we have Vicki, uh, uh, Jackie sitting in the corner over there. Everybody ready? Ready. Bye. Yes. I'll open the uh, public hearing for the Harrison Two Lot Subdivision on Blind Pond Road. Uh, and is there any the, any public in the waiting room? No, I've entered everyone into the room. I'm waiting for James Matichka. I just have him on the phone right now. Um, he's just getting ready to log in. <clears throat> I see a box lit up says caller use in one is somebody going to talk Only if they have a comment. Oh, apparently they don't. We have somebody else coming in now. Do I see what's going on? There he is. This is the quietest Zoom party I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> they should all be like this. Well, everybody's unmuted, um, except for Jackie, by choice. We have another five minutes. Okay. Say again.
Bristol, do we know who calling user number one is? We do not. Um, there is a participant in the room and you are the only one that is called in by phone. Can you please state your name? Daniel Forrest. Can you say that clear, please? Daniel Forrest. Do you have any comments, any comments on this subdivision? I don't, I'm not aware of the whole situation. I'll just listen. All right, well, welcome to the meeting. Three minutes counting. Ed, just so you are aware, um, Harrison, they did mail out the public notice hearings and we did receive the uh, receipts in the mail. Yes, I, I got the... Uh, It's nice to see everybody. <laughs> yeah, this is a treat. We don't usually get to see anyone. No, I <laughs> look out the window and see deer. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> the beard is back. Ed, the beard is back again. The what? The beard. Yeah, I'm trying again. I'm trying to catch up with Kenny this time. <laughs> you got a ways to go. I know. First, I have to shear off some to drop back. Right? It's either that or the electric razor, one or the other. <laughs> well, we have one minute and counting. He's Kathleen on his computer. <laughs> the dogs aren't used to this many people being in the house. <laughs> I'm usually the one responsible for barking in the background and Crystal Quick mutes me, but not right now. You do have to it. Oh, my guys came in. <laughs> I keep myself muted for that exact reason. I have two of them. Uh -huh. We've heard them. <laughs> they all I tried. Them. I do my best. All right. Uh... I'll put a motion on the floor to close the public hearing on the Harrison subdivision. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? So carried. Ed, if yes. you could please do roll call votes. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. That's okay. And have everyone state their name just before they vote, please. All right, I'll, I'll go across the way and have it on my screen. I don't know. Um, Kathleen? Aye, Kathleen Johnson. Aye, Mary. Aye, Mary Bermudez. Joe. Aye, Joe Carreri. Sean. Aye, Aye. Sean Herring. Ken. Aye, Ken Bain. John. Aye, John Kaufman. And myself, aye. Aye, Diane Herring. Who was the last aye? I, Diane Herring, Charlie Strecker's daughter. Are you on the board? I got the letter. 
No, the letter was to ask you if you wanted to come to the public hearing. Yeah, but I'm in Huntington, Long Island, so. Oh, okay. No, you, 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 we just, we have to send letters to everybody within 500 feet of the project. Oh, okay. That, I does, just... that does not appoint you to the board and invite you to the meeting. Oh, okay. So then I will leave and there's no objection. to. Well, something. thank you for coming. I, I didn't understand. I didn't, couldn't pick up the name. Uh, Charlie Stecker's daughter, Diane Harry. Well, okay. Well, thank you. And stay safe down there in Huntington. Okay. Thank you so much. And be safe, everybody, at the meeting. Thank you. How's your mom? Um, she's getting ready for bed. Yeah. It's been... Uh, it's been tough. It's been uh, long and tiring. I just left the OR in uh, March 5th. Uh, well, yeah. tell Alberta we all said hello and we're asking for her. Oh, I definitely yeah, too. Oh, okay. Now I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm much older now. <laughs> yes, you certainly did. <laughs> yes, I'm 62, yes. <laughs> You've known me since... Um, yes, say hello to your mother for me, too, please. I definitely will. All right, thank you so much. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. Bye. God bless. That was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with that, I'll open the, the uh, May meeting for the uh, Town of Tustin Planning Board. Uh, if you'd all join me in a pledge to the flag, I won't ask you to rise. Just do the pledge, please. Ready? Yeah. I can't think of the words. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Thank you. And right now, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence uh, for a past board member's father who passed away. I believe it was on Saturday of this week from the coronavirus. It was Doug Collett's uh, father, who was a board member of ours for many years. I'd like to see that I'm here. I think I'm going to picture that conversion. Okay, we can move forward. Uh, the only, uh, Amy, if you could read the minutes from last month. There's Amy. I lost her. Okay. Okay. A regular meeting of the Town of Tustin Planning Board was held on April 20th via Zoom meeting with the following members present. Ed Jackson, Ken Bain, Mary Bermudez, Sean Harrington, Barry Becker, Joe Carreri, Kathleen Hankins, John Kaufman. Approximately three members of the general public were present. The regular meeting was opened at 7.38 p.m. following the Pledge of Allegiance. Accept minutes, resolution 0720, motion by Carreri, second and by Harrington, the following resolution was adopted A's eight, nay zero, resolved to accept the February 2020 minutes. Correspondence, Pete Zicari for lot line adjustment approval, Frank Trovato for line lot, for lot line adjustment, Kirk Roberts for lot combination, JP Lang, Beaverbrook Rod and Gun Club, lot combination approval for 19-1-14 to combine with 24-1-15, 16, 24-0104, and 22-1-7. Old business for Beaverbrook Rod and Gun Club, lot 24-115 and 16 are in the Elder District. These two lots were not included in the lot combination. <coughs> New business, James Motika, present for Patrick and Margaret Harrison, Blind Pond Road for two lot subdivision, SBL 21-1-36.1. Harrison will subdivide the 51.03 acres into two lots. One lot will be 11.03 acres and the other lot will be 40. Secret approval, resolution 0820. Motion by Kaufman, second by Carreri. The following resolution was adopted, A's eight, nay zero. Resolved to approve the secret for Patrick and Margaret Harrison on Blind Pond Road. The 239 form is not needed for this application. The public hearing has been set for May 18th at 7.25 p.m. Public hearing notices need to go to all neighbors within 500 feet of the property line. Certified return receipt. <clears throat> Preliminary approval 0821, motion by Carreri, second by Hankins, the following resolution. 
was adopted A's eight and A's zero resolved for preliminary approval for Patrick and Margaret Harrison. Public hearing approval 0822 on motion by Harrington, second by Bermudez. The following resolution was adopted A's eight and A's zero for a public hearing on May 18th at 7.25 p.m. for Patrick and Margaret Harrison. Mike, pra Mike Packer present for Nicholas and Jennifer Rob Robespierre, 306 Perry Pond Road. SPL 2-1-1.29 and 2-1-1.30. Lot 70 is 5.25 acres and lot 71 is 5.01 acres. Resolution 0823, a motion by Crary, second by Hankins. The following resolution was adopted A's 8 and A's 0. Results for lot combination approval for Nicholas and Jennifer, 306 Perry Pond Road. <coughs> Map signature approval, resolution 0824, motion by Carreri, second by Harrington. The following resolution was adopted, A's 8 and A's 0, resolved for the town, for the Tustin Town Clerk, Crystal Weston, to sign and stamp the maps for Nicholas and Jennifer, 306 Perry Pond Road, Narrowsburg, in place of Chairman Ed Jackson and Ken Bain. Brendan Wyden, 14 Erie Avenue, Narrowsburg, presented two drawings for the parking lot, option one and option two. Option one parking lot will have eight parking spaces inbound and outbound with the house and parking lot on one lot. The house, which applicant is not sure if going to remodel or rebuild the structure, the ground level would be commercial and the second level will have two studio apartments. The option two drawings, the entrance and exit will be towards the house with eight parking spaces. Option number one is better with getting in and out of the parking lot, the length of the driveway, and more usable parking spots. The wooden guardrail belongs to the widens and a new one will be built. The guide, wire, the guide wire that is there will not be touched. A guardrail at the back of the property bordering the train tracks will have a guardrail of some sort to stop people from going over the bank. The town needs a letter from the railroad company approving this. Preliminary approval, resolution 0825, motion by Carreri, second by Hankins. The following resolution was adopted A's 8 and A's 0. Resolved for preliminary approval to accept the layout of both drawings, prerogative to which one to use for Brendan Wyden, 14 Erie Avenue. In the future, the applicant will need to apply for a special use permit. Letter of approval, resolution 0826, motion by Carreri, second by Harrington. The following resolution was adopted A's 8 and A's 0. Resolved for both designs as submitted by Brendan, 14 Erie Avenue, New York, at a, date, at a later date for review. <clears throat> there being no other Board of Public Comment, the meeting adjourned at 8.47 p.m. Any corrections or additions? <coughs> if not, I'll entertain a vote uh, to accept it as read. I make a motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll oh, second it. Motion and a second. I'll ask for a vote now. Uh, I'll start with myself. Aye. Kathleen? Aye. Mary? Aye. Joe? Aye. John? Aye. Ken? Aye. John? Aye. Barry? Aye. Has everybody voted aye? We have the meeting, uh, the minutes are accepted as read. Next on is a, the letter from the planning board uh, to Patrick on the preliminary approval of the uh, subdivision. Then we have the notice of the public hearing on the Harrison subdivision. And last we have the sub the uh, uh, lot line adjustment on uh, Perry Pond Road. This is one more. The last is the uh, approval, the temporary uh, opinion that we gave to uh, Brendan on his parking lots. Okay. I think that covers us for this evening. Uh, we have the 
<clears throat> the town hasn't got all the paperwork put together yet for the parking lot, so there's no progress on that. And the only other thing I had, a young lady touched base with me. She wants to take over the old custom cup and make it into a mercantile. So she's going to come before us probably next month for a change of use from uh, eating and drinking to uh, mercantile. Ed, we need to finish the Harrison. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot all about that. Yes, we do. You think? Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always sit right next to him, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good but idea. You couldn't even hit me with your elbow on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'll uh, put a motion on the floor to accept the uh, approve the uh, Harrison two lot subdivision. I make that motion, second or whatever. Second. We have a motion and a second. I'll call the roll, starting with Kathleen. Aye. Mary. Aye. Joe. Aye. Sean. I didn't hear you, Sean. He's muted. <laughs> Sorry. Aye. Ken? Aye. John? Aye. And Barry? Aye. Uh, it's a, uh, everyone voted aye, and I did too. I'm sorry. Aye. The motion's carried. The uh, subdivision is approved. And we will do the same with Crystal having the authority to sign for you. Know. Maps for us because we can't get into the town hall. Uh, if you, if you, Crystal, make sure that they leave me two copies of the map. Two copies? Okay, I got one copy of the last one. So <laughs> James will remind me, I'll keep two copies. The file, yes. Okay. Uh, Crystal, if you would just let me know what I need to do to pick them up or when I can pick them up, I would appreciate it. Okay, I will touch base with you. I'll send you an email tonight and we'll touch okay. base. Okay, Very but they good. should be ready Thank tomorrow. You. Um, Ed, can you just give me a resolution or authorization to sign these? I thought we took care of that this morning when I spoke with you. I thought you were gonna put that in without, I, I'll make a motion that uh, Crystal sign the, the maps in lieu of myself. Chairman I'll second. Ken Bain, uh, Excuse me. Good evening. Um, I, I don't mean to intrude, but I do not believe it's an appropriate delegation of the chairman's authority to allow the town clerk to sign a subdivision map. Well, the, town, the, the, the chairman and the, and the vice chair can't come into town hall. I, I appreciate that. Um, and I also appreciate the time limits that are involved, but um, is it possible rather than the applicant dropping off the mylars to the town clerk that they be uh, mailed to the chairman or the vice chair for signature? And then they have to still go to the town hall to be stamped. Hey Ed, Ben said he'd bring them out to you to sign if that helps. Well, we can do that. I'm just trying to save time for them. Um, I, I appreciate that, but I also don't think that um, the clerk's office, well, the government center is not open to visitors, so it's not like they could even go and record the maps right now. Well, we did it last month. I don't know. You know, I'm just here to give advice. You can take it or not. <laughs> um, your call. What's the advice based on, Jackie? Uh, the advice is based upon uh, the town has given certain authority to the planning board to do certain things, approving subdivisions being one of them. I don't think it's a proper exercise of the town board's authority to delegate that to the town clerk, who's not even a member of your planning board. I mean, I get she's a separate elected official. She has her own separate duties and responsibilities and signing subdivision maps is not one of them. And um, what about considering the fact that we are still in a state of emergency and a lot of things? Does that take any precedence over that? And the planning board has approved it. Yes. No. I think I, we're doing better than the town of, of Bethel. They just canceled the meetings and stopped everything. We're trying to proceed forward. 
And, and I, I appreciate moving forward in these difficult times. Um, but I, I would hope that there would be another way to get the maps signed by the chair or the vice chair or another person on the planning board to delegate that authority to, as opposed to delegating that authority to someone who's not even on the planning board. Well, she's acting as a, as a member of the board by running the meeting for us on the electronic side. Um, on, only the town board can appoint the meeting, the members of the planning board. I don't think her ministerial act of um, hosting the meeting makes her a member of the board. Um, well, but I, you can, I it to the supervisor and he agreed with me. What, for Crystal to host the meeting? No, to sign the map. No. Well, if you want to do that and have Crystal sign it and Ed, see if the county accepts it. Jackie, I'm not, I don't mean to interrupt. Um, and I was saying I would get the maps to you. I didn't say that I approved of what you were doing. Why don't you just have one of your other board members give approval for one of your other board members to go down. Crystal can pass the maps through the door to them and have them sign them. You can have either. You yeah, know, you can bring them to me too, Ben, because I can sign them. Yeah, I mean, I, I can get them to you. That's not a, that's not a problem. I, let's take the advice of council and work with that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just, just trying to expedite. That'll expedite it, Ed. We can do it tomorrow. Right. I'm, I'm just very concerned that when the maps get to real property in the county government center, that the maps might be rejected because it's not signed by a member of the planning board. I mean, this is one day off. Let's just go ahead and have Ben take it over to Ken's house for signing. Uh, as, you have to put stamp with you too. Crystal can do that, right? Crystal, you know where my stamp is. No, there's no stamp. You said there you was no stamp. You put the stamp on the way Packer puts on it. All we have to do is sign in line or did you not put a stamp on it? I, there is a box on the map. Okay, so we don't need the stamp. Do you also put on that no further subdivisions can be allowed without planning board approval? Is that stamp on there also? Uh, the note that I have on here, any and all future subdivision of the Huron shown subject property must be approved by the Town of Tustin Planning Board. So I think he's got it covered with both boxes. We don't need our stamp. Right. And I could just sign in the box and I don't, Amy, do you have a number we're putting on this or not? Um, I don't have my book, so I'm out of numbers and what's happening. That's in the town hall. If we have a number, I'll put it on when I sign it. I'll have to go through my notes, but I know we did a lot of numbering. But for subdivision, I think we've done one maybe, or did you put those numbers on the um, combos too? I'm just checking, give me a second. I really think this is our second one, but I'm not sure. Um, our second one was Travoto and okay. Hedges. Okay. The one for Sicari, that was a lot line adjustment, right? Right. And so was Travolta, so that's why I was wondering if we even gave it a number, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. We could do it 003. Okay, do I do 2000, 2020 first or after? Yes, yep. 2020-003? Oh, yep. Okay. Amy, why, would you look something up in the minutes for me of when uh, we approved the Delaware River Solar Subdivision sometime and email it to me, please? Okay, yeah. That was quite a while ago now. Yeah. I, that's what I said, but it, I was requested a date, so I'll see if I can figure it out. I think it's uh, well in a year before they built it, but... For just about a year. It was over a year before they built it. Yeah. 
because they, they had almost they had run out and we gave them an extension because they were waiting for the money. Okay. Are they still going to put their trees up? Yeah, those trees still have to go in and the, and the topsoil and the seeding has to go in. Yeah. I see they changed the fence. Yeah, the fence has been corrected. Yeah. I was going to try and get some pictures of the trees they put over there at the old Elder Preserve. And also the ones that uh, uh, Kevin Frieda put in to give them yeah, an idea are, what we want them to look like. Yeah. Any other business? I guess business is at an all time slow, so <laughs> we can just talk with each other and enjoy seeing each other and we're done for the evening. Yeah. I'll put a motion on the floor to adjourn and we can have a discussion afterwards. I'll second it. Joe. I'll call the roll. Swearing with myself. Yes. Kathleen? Aye. Mary? Aye. Joe? Aye. Go on. Aye. Kenny? Aye. One. Barry? Aye. Am I missing? Where's John? John left, went away. <laughs> <laughs> John is was unstable before. His must have been worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> we still have somebody on the phone. Mr. Forrest, Daniel. Your neighbor. Okay. Are you still there, Daniel? Oh, yeah. I've been missed the word. I couldn't get through on a computer. I had to use the phone. Is there anything you'd like to say before the meeting is adjourned? No, no, not at this time. All right. With that, I'll adjourn the meeting until uh, next month will be on the 22nd of, uh, no, I'm sorry, the 15th of June. I am scheduled for thir surgery on the 8th, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. We should be home by then, so I, it will probably still be on Zoom, so I can do it from home. I would imagine it'll be on Zoom. I'm not planning on going out anywhere it's real soon. Uh, me either. <laughs> the sooner they open the doors to other people, the more I'm staying home, even more than before. Yeah. Me too. That I'm not going anywhere. Way. <laughs> I'm not excited about going into Manhattan for the surgery either, to be honest. Oh, wow. But they told me that everything is going to be all right, so. It will. That's good. The rest of us will stay home, so you'll be safe. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Ed. Yeah, where are you going in Manhattan? Say again? Which one are you going to in Manhattan? A hospital for special surgery. Oh. You'll I, be fine. Uh, this, this Friday, I have to White Plains for my pre-op. Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you, this the hospital for, it's, what a difference in going to a hospital up here to go to one of those big hospitals in the city. Oh, yeah. I have to do a webinar. Uh, the pre-op I have is is four and a half hours. Wow. Better luck on your webinar, Ed. I had one today with the doctor. They ended up just calling on the phone and doing it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was all set. It says they'll hook on when the provider comes. They never came. They just called. <laughs> nice. So that's... I guess everybody's kind of looking forward to this thing getting over with so we can all get back to norm. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a norm for a while. I'm with Joe. I think we're going to be in for a while if we want to be safe. I, yeah. had, I had last Thursday, I had a four-hour conference with the Planning Federation, and our president is from Port Jefferson, and they've already told them to not plan on school in September. Also, assessing school in uh, July in Cornell has been totally canceled. Well, 
I don't know if I'll be going back at all. Weren't you retiring <laughs> anyhow? Well, we're, no, no. I have about two and a half years, but at this oh. point, um, they they really don't know. The school calendar is not out, and basically, there's it's just all up in the air. They have no clue. Absolutely no. Really? My feeling is until they have a vaccine that's been proven to work, we really can't go much of anywhere or have schools or large groups together safely. Yeah, the, the city put out a survey to all of the families about remote learning and that just went out. So, and there's really not a lot we can do at this point because they're not letting us in the building. The teachers are not even allowed in the building. So. Same as Assessor and Tustin not allowed in the building. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> We're keeping it nice and clean for you, Ed. I haven't touched any of your stuff, I promise. Oh, yeah, don't move anything. I'll I mean, Ken and Ed, I haven't touched your stuff. <laughs> but Ken, I asked you to touch some stuff. You did that. That was fine. Yes. Thank you. My desk here at home looks exactly the same as my desk in the town, so... <laughs> We thought we had a, had a ghost today in the office, okay? Just saying. There was something moving upstairs. We were in the main office and something was moving. Nobody's walking around upstairs? Nobody was upstairs. The door is locked. The lights are off. A few minutes later, it happens again. It sounds like almost like a chair is moving. Kelly and I went upstairs. There's nothing there. There's nobody there. And then we hear it again while we're up there. But this time it sounded like it was a little further away. Long story short, the guy doing the generators is down in the town hall working in the ceiling. Really? <laughs> hall. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe the rodents were getting stronger up in the attic, <laughs> moving things around. They knocked one of the lights out of the ceiling, actually, Ken. I believe it. it over by your a, desk. There used to be a bird who uh, had a nest in the attic where we stored our stuff. Yeah, I saw that mess. There was a hole in the wall there. They came in. Yeah, that window was out. Yeah. They loaded it up now. Wow. Question, who's doing the logging behind uh, Clemente's office back up in there? Isn't that the same guy that was logging for um, Figures Lake? That's what he's talking about. It is Figures Lake property. Yeah, 40, the old app. I think they're done. They've been working on Barbara Buckman for the last couple of months, but it's the same company. Is it just logging or are they putting something, is something happening? I mean, because he was doing that division, subdivision a long time ago. We haven't heard anything from them. I so don't know how much damage they had. Barbara was all damaged that she had hers done from the May storm in 2018. I don't mm -hmm. know what happened in the hillside property. But then they logged the whole thing from border to border, it seems. Wow. Yeah, you can see a difference if you stand across the river and look at it now. The tree line is a little different than it used to be. Oh, uh, yeah. You go up 97, you see all the rest, uh, trees left. That were yeah, that steep, side, that steep slope there, there's stuff all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess it's time Crystal went home. She and us all. <laughs> all right, well, good to see everybody. Yeah, same to you. You know, everybody stay safe and stay, you know. Yep. Yes, you too. Good night, we'll everybody. We'll, be, uh, we'll get through this, and at the end, we'll have maybe we'll go out someplace and have a drink together. Sounds like I'm now good. you're talking, Eddie. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Can we just schedule that for the end of next meeting? <laughs> you know, like, Crystal, meeting is over. Right. Cheers. I hope you're right. <laughs> I hope you're right. Your own drink on, do it on Zoom. <laughs> there you go. Margaritas. You have like to together on Zoom is not quite the same thing. No. <laughs> no. I can make a picture full, but you guys won't get them. Huh? <laughs> oh. Drive by. <laughs> Drive yeah. by at Kenny's. I'll just hold my cup out the window. <laughs> Uh, okay. 
like I said, it's really good to see all you guys, and uh, everybody looks good. A lot more gray hair around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Soon to be. <laughs> Does anybody know, can the campgrounds open this year? Yes. They can. They are, and they're already opening. We actually, I actually signed up to go camping. I don't think we're going. But a lot of the campgrounds are opening up. They just have a lot of restrictions. You pretty much can't leave your campsite without a mask. Um, I know over in Pennsylvania, if they're for their pool, I guess they have um, the sign up for certain times of the day for your family to go to the pool. And after you leave the pool, they have to clean it before the next family can go to the pool. So mm. campgrounds are still are opening, but. Yeah, because I know here the hills, they're not opening at all this year, the state out on Long Island. I don't think they're opening for tents. I know like where we were looking at going, it's uh, RVs only. I don't know what the difference, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're more contained in your own unit with the RV. Right. Yeah, my daughter told me they're going to sell their trailer and buy a boat. <laughs> Go to the Bahamas, right, Eddie? Huh? Go to the Bahamas. Hurricane Hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like I, as I said, it's really it makes me feel good to see everybody. I feel a whole lot better after this. Yeah. That's good. Well, then you should come to all the other meetings that the town has. <laughs> it's not I'll send you a list of them. He doesn't want to feel that good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's not get crazy, Crystal. <laughs> I'm at all the meetings. Come on. Yeah, you it's are. fun. You. Yes. <laughs> Something good to do. So, if I don't right. see everybody before I have a great Memorial Day. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you too. And... 100. and thanks for your service, Eddie. Hmm? Thanks <laughs> for your service. Thank you. I second Thank you. that. Yep. Yep. I, I, I. And good luck with that surgery. Yeah, I hope so too. That's, that's going to be my next big deal. You'll have to send us an email as to how you did. I will. If you, if you look over my shoulder, that flag, that's the one the little boy gave me when I came off the, the honor flight. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm going to keep it. It'll, I'll have it forever now. That's, you know, that, that meant a lot to me that day. Yeah. yeah. Well deserved, Eddie. Well deserved. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Okay. All right, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.